in the middle of my many years at the Eames office, I got a Fulbright grant and I went to the Hochschule für Gestaltung in southern Germany. I roamed the streets of Europe and photographed street life and architecture and street graphics. And I went crazy for that. And then I realized that I had always been interested in messages on the street, even when I was a little girl. And I have a lot of memories, like riding on the subway from Brooklyn to Manhattan and back and noticing certain signs. Something was in the air which encouraged people and women to supplement the three-dimensional experience with visual, with powerful visual material integrated into the physical world. The art is not just in the museums and the concert halls and so forth. The art can be on the street. The idea of super graphics was not that it was just big, but that it was bigger than the architecture. It didn't have to fit in to prescribed spaces in a traditional way. It could have its own life and go beyond the ceiling, be cropped, be as though it had almost flown over the architecture. And that's what super graphics really meant. And much of the work, the pioneering work, was done by women in California. I was working on a lot of big things at the Eames office, and I needed to begin to speak in my own voice. Architects began to call on me to help them with projects, one of which was Frank Gehry. And I discovered a passion for what is now called environmental graphic design, or sometimes I call it urban branding, that my love of the street of public life, of um, being in the middle of a culture that was expressing itself clearly came out when I began to work with architects and began to work actually on the street. What I take great pleasure in is connecting things in my life that uh, were unpredictable, that connecting things in my life and using them to not just express myself, but to inform people or inspire people.